Why was it so hard to believe that birds and dinosaurs were related? Most of the dinosaurs that the public knew about were really big. Like, you know, this is a shoulder blade of a sauropod, and sauropods were gigantic. Scientists thought that dinosaurs were cold-blooded and slow-moving, like other reptiles. People couldn't imagine dinosaurs being agile and hopping around. They look at these big, giant things, and they lumber. There's no way to relate them to birds. Then, in 1963, John Ostrom discovered a fossil in the Badlands of Montana that challenged that view. What John Ostrom first found was, was this, this claw. Obviously goes to a foot. It was not a claw for walking on. This dinosaur actually used that claw for slashing. Deinonychus was small, with a delicate build. It ran upright on two legs. It had a long, stiff tail for balance. Not all dinosaurs were big and lumbering. Ostrom hypothesized that the animal would scale its prey and start using its slashing claw and probably eating the animal while it was alive. Ostrom's discovery set off a revolution. What if dinosaurs weren't slow, but warm-blooded and fast-moving, like birds? When Ostrom compared Deinonychus to Archaeopteryx, he saw that they both had lightly built hollow bones. And they shared even more features, including long arms and similar hip and shoulder bones. Ostrom concluded that birds did descend from dinosaurs, as Huxley had argued. Not from lumbering sauropods, but from another lineage called theropods that walked on two legs and included T-Rex and agile predators like Deinonychus. While some scientists did not accept this idea at first, supporting evidence continued to accumulate, including the discovery that theropods had a feature of birds not previously found, a wishbone. People had sort of looked for them and really didn't know what it was going to look like. And then, all of a sudden, we started finding them. Uh, here is the wishbone of Tyrannosaurus rex. When scientists analyzed the skeletons of theropods and birds, they found too many similarities for any explanation but common ancestry. Jack's collection at the Museum of the Rockies offers an opportunity to compare their features. There's an Albertosaur tibia. As you can see, it's hollow, just like a modern bird. This is a T-Rex foot. What we see here are three forward-facing digits that bear the weight of the animal, and in the back, a much smaller digit. If we take a look at this chicken foot, we'll see the same pattern. We've got three forward-facing digits, and on the back, a much smaller one. All dinosaurs share an S-shaped neck. You can see it here and in living birds like this chicken. <laughs> 